Hello children, how are you all? Today we will start with Moral Science, Chapter Number 8. Being Respectful. However, this chapter is already covered. Uh, but this will come in this unit. Okay. So, being respectful. Every individual desires respect and it is a basic human tendency. Being young, you should learn to give respect to your elders and you should be respectful towards your parents, grandparents, teachers and all the elders. Right? So, everybody uh, desires respect. Okay? In order to get respect from others, what we need to do, we need to respect others like our parents, like grandparents, uh, teachers and uh, the elders. Treating people with respect makes the world a nicer place to live in. When we, when the people, all the people start respecting each other, this is the nicer place to live in. Where people respect each and every one. You can show your respect towards your parents by the way of obeying them, by talking to them politely and by showing care towards them. So how you can show uh, respect towards your elders by obeying them. Okay, by talking to them very politely instead of shouting on them and showing care towards them. You should even be respectful towards all the senior citizens and you should be respectful towards all the old people who serve you. So old people uh, who serve you, suppose you have a maid in your house and respect those maids also, the staff in the school who is helping uh, in many uh, type of work okay like uh, drivers servants gardeners etc moreover consider yourself to be fortunate if your grandparents live with you you are the lucky one if your grandparents are living with you treat them lovingly and be affectionate towards them you need to treat them very lovingly because they are the one who have a lot of experience in their life and they share with you you are the only one, right? They teach each and everything to you. How can you show respect towards elders? So that's a topic. So as to be respectful towards the elders, be a good listener. So if your elders are saying something to you, you should be a very attentive listener. You should listen very attentively. Give value to elder people's opinion. Uh, in your family uh, or in the school there are people who are elder than you and they give you their opinion because they already had lot of experience that is why they are giving their opinions to you be thoughtful about the elder people's feeling and emotions so care about uh, their feelings and emotions and be thoughtful why they are telling you uh, to do a particular thing because of course, they have a lot of experience in it. Never uh, scorn or ridicule the elder people. Never criticize the elder people behind their backs. Never say anything bad uh, about uh, them at their backs. Never force an elderly to do something which he or she cannot do it and they do not want to do it. Never force anyone right, to do which they actually do not want to do it. Now we'll read a story, The Crow on the Window. Okay, it's a very nice story. Once upon a time, there lived an old man and he was aged around 80 years. And he lived with his son, daughter-in-law and two grandsons. And his son worked as a CEO in a multinational corporation. So he was an old man, right? 80 years old. He was living with a family, with the son who was who was the CEO of the uh, multinational company, his daughter-in-law and two grandsons. One day, the old man was sitting on the sofa of his house along with his 45 years old, highly educated son. His son was very highly educated as he was the CEO of a, in a multinational company. The old man was sitting beside the window. Suddenly, a crow came and sat on the window. The old man asked his son, what is this? The son replied, it is a crow. The old man started reading a newspaper and after a few minutes he again asked his son, Son, what is this? Father, I have just now told you that it is a crow, replied the son. The old man started turning the pages of the newspaper and after a little while the old man again asked, Son, what is this? 
This time, with an expression of irritation on his face, the son replied, It is a crow, a crow. After nearly 15 minutes, the old man again asked the same question to his son. And this time, the son lost all his patience and he stood up angrily, shouted at his father, Why are you asking the same question again and again? I have told you many times, it's a crow. Are you not able to understand the simple thing? Take a paper and write on it, it is a crow. The old man did not like his son's behavior, but he kept quiet. And then he went into his room. After some time, he came out with an old tattered diary, which was uh, which he was maintaining since uh, his son's birth. And he started going through the diary as if he is trying to search something in it. On getting the page he was looking for, he gave the diary to his son and asked him to read the page. After giving the diary, the old man went into his room. The son started reading. The following was written there. Today, my little son, aged three years, was sitting with me on the sofa of the living room. Suddenly a crow came and sat on the window. My son asked me, Dad, what is it? I replied, it's a crow. After some time, my son asked the same question again. I gave the same answer. In a time duration of around a half an hour, my son asked me the same question 23 times and I gave him the same answer all the 23 times. Every time he asked this question, I hugged him lovingly and kissed on his forehead. I did not feel irritated at all. I rather felt affectionate towards his innocence. And after reading the page, the son realized that his dad did not lose patience when he was asked the same question 23 times, but he lost his patience on just the fourth instance. After thinking for a while, he went into his father's room. He saw his dad was lying on the bed with his eyes closed and he kept his hand on his father's head. Why did the old, uh, when uh, the old man opened his eyes, the son said, Dad, I'm really sorry. I do not have uh, as much patience as you have. I became disrespectful. I regret for my bad behavior. I will never commit such, mi- such a mistake again. And with a smile on his face, the old man hugged his son out of love. So have you seen how... Uh, what is the moral behind this story? We should always respect our parents. We should uh, obey them. We should uh, show care towards them. Why? Because when you were when you were young, do you remember when you were young? You don't even remember those days, right? Then when you were so kid, you were very small. They used to answer each and every questions asked by you. And they never get irritated. Now also, if we ask something to our parents, they never get irritated. They get the answer with the love and with a lot of affection. Right? In the same way, we also need to respect our elders in order to get respect, respected. Right? Uh, so this chapter is over. I want you to do the question answers in your book. So the first question is, what makes the world a nicer place to live in? Once you will read the chapter, of course, you will get all the answers in it. How can you show your respect towards your parents? And how many times did the old man ask the same question to his son? And how did the son react after the last time? The next question is, how many times had the son asked the same question to his father? And how did his father react? The last question is, what do you learn from this story? Okay, so you need to do these five question answers in your copy. Next is on page number 44, there is a class discussion activity that can be done later on. Okay, and now if you see the next, uh, the third exercise, exercise C, differentiating between negative and positive ways activity. Okay, you need to fill in as per your understanding. Okay, the next uh, exercise is, there is a poem. Okay, so we'll recite this poem quickly. Respect your parents for their love and toil. Respect the farmer who tills the soil. Respect all good minds who advised you good. Respect the man of God who gave souls food. Respect the conscience which tells 
uh, tells you what's right and respect your God who is your friend and guide. Okay, write this uh, poem also in your copy, question answers and along with it, what you need to do is you will write this golden word. Giving respect gets you blessing which help in success. Always remember this, okay. When you give respect, you will get a lot of blessings from your elder ones which helps in getting the success in your life. So always remember, okay. So we'll meet in the next class. God bless you everyone.